If your idea is to send out emails from your WordPress site, I have the plugin for you. It's called the WP Mail. They have a free version and they have a lifetime deal going on right now. So let's go check it out. What's up, everyone? This is Wemail, and I have it installed already on my WordPress site. Now, these guys have been around for several years, so the product is solid. The integrations are solid. The campaigns are solid. The automation is solid because they've had this product for several years in development. Now, right now, there's a lifetime deal that you can take advantage of, or you can use the free version that has a limit of 3,000 subscribers for free. Now, there are some limits on the features, but then again, it's free, right? But then you have the option for a lifetime deal right now the, that avoids paying you a month to month payment. And you can get started with the $39 deal. Now, that's going to get you one website and 5,000 subscribers as the limit. Now, if you need more limits, I recommend you jump into tier two or all the way up to five for 200,000 subscribers. Remember, you're going to get all the features for this price. So I definitely recommend that. I think the sweet spot is tier two. That's 99 for 20,000 subscribers. But it's, it's going to depend on you, how popular your site is, how popular you are for the subscribers to sign up. And remember, you can automate the customers from WooCommerce to be an automatic subscriber and send out campaigns each time they buy. So. It depends how many subscriber license here you need. So check those out in the link in the description. Now, before I show you all the bells and whistles of WeMail, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you're planning to grab a shared hosting plan where you're going to install your WordPress site with WeMail, I recommend that you check out Hostinger. That link is going to be provided in the description. So if you want to check it out, go to hosting, web hosting, and we're going to be able to find all their shared hosting plans. I'm going to recommend to you the business plan, which is the most popular one, which is really affordable, $349 a month. But I'm also going to show you how to apply a coupon code that's going to drop the price even more. Now, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months because if you select lower months, the price is going to go up and the renewal price is also going to increase. So I recommend 48 months and you're going to be good to go for all that period, which is four years. Now, this is the current price, but if you add my coupon code that is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $150 with 77 cents. So if you plan to grab a short hosting plan, use my coupon code. All right. So back to Wemo. As I mentioned before, they have a solid product. It's going to do everything that you need for the basic features for campaigns. You're going to be able to send out emails right away. You're going to be able to schedule. You're going to be able to automate. You're going to be able to integrate and all that stuff, right? So you can integrate via SMTP or other providers like Amazon and other type of providers out there. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is the integrations. With integrations, you're going to be able to understand how good this is developed, all right? So you got contact forms. So if you're using any of these plans, it will integrate with them, all right? You have your pop-up forms, your e-commerce, and your CRM and affiliate WP, which is one of my choices for affiliate WordPress plugins, all right? So you have all those integrations. And when it comes to settings, we're going to go into our email settings. And as I mentioned before, you're going to be able to set up with MSMTP, which would be the most popular choice. So if you have an email provider out there that provides you your SMTP, then just add those there. And you have these other options to integrate really easily via the API from these companies that are available as of this video, right? You have your details for transactions, opt in and all this information that will help you with your email campaigns. Now, when it comes to email campaigns, as I mentioned before, the it's going to have everything that you need to send it out. So in this case, I'm going to name my email campaign number two, and you'll be able to add your subject, which I mean, this is all basics from the email, select the list. For example, if you have several lists, maybe you have a list for customers from automatic customers from your WooCommerce store or a, a list from subscribers that manually subscribe from one of the forms that you have in your website and just select the list where you want to send out this email campaign, right? You can also do it by segments and you can also exclude recipients. So if you want to exclude from a list, you want to exclude them from a segment or if you want to exclude them from a tag from a list. So, for example, maybe it's a tag that you tag from someone that is someone who purchases on 2024. Then you send out, you exclude them or maybe they purchased on 2023. You can exclude those. It depends how you want to use your exclude list, right? Let's hit next for save. And then you're going to have the option to select the type of builder. You can do a writing focus editor, which is obviously based on writing or the advanced drag and drop builder. Let me go ahead and select this one to show you what is it can do, right? 
Now they have several templates available that I personally think that are really good looking. So for example, you can load more and watch them and see which one fits your business needs or the colors that kind of fit with what you want to do with your email campaign. Also like this one, because I like it. Here we go. We're going to be able to edit each one of these aspects. So if I selected the details for editing are going to be on the right. So I can change the image. I can replace it. I can select, for example, the text. Just go ahead and edit the text, etc. And I can go ahead and delete, remove and move these blocks however I want. I can also switch this to the simplified editor in case I don't want to use the other one, but it's up to me. In this case, I like the builder, but it brings you back to this. But you have that option there, right? And you have these blocks available to create your email. There's also the design options here for the global, the top, etc. And just edit these to your liking with the colors that fit your business needs. All right. Once you're good to go, you can save this as a template to use it again later on and just switch up whatever you need. You can go ahead and preview this or save and go to next settings. Now, in this case, again, we have the same option for the subject, the preview text optional, and then from the details that are pretty much basic, which is from email, the reply to email, we can go ahead and deliver this right now, or we can go ahead and schedule this. Now on schedule, I do like and dislike this option. It depends on you. I can select the date and time that's going to be sent out and select the time zone right here. Now that could be time consuming every single time that you want to send out an email campaign. But in other words, it could be a useful tool if you want to send out email campaigns based on their location. So if, if they are in Europe, maybe you want to select a different time to send it out. If not, you'll select every single time the time zone, all right? You got Time Warp and Google Analytics for this campaign. Once you're good to go, send it out and it's going to ask you to confirm all the details and send out the campaign right away. So it's not difficult at all to start sending out campaigns. And one of the best features that I think is the automations. So in automations, we're able to obviously automate the, the email send outs. For example, you can do this on a product purchase. So if you have a WooCommerce store and someone purchases, it's going to trigger this automation automatically. And then we decide how the flow is going to work, right? There's also the welcome message for each time that someone subscribes to marketing activity, anniversary date. In this case, we're going to use welcome message, all right? So in this case, the trigger, I can use it when subscriber joins a list, subscriber joins a specific segment. For example, if I designate a segment, it's going to trigger this, right? When a subscriber purchases a product and you have these available options. In this case, when a subscriber joins a list and then I have the option for the list. Now, not all lists are going to trigger this. In this case, I want to trigger it when it's a subscriber, not when it's a customer. So it's up to you. All right. You can repeat the workflow each time that someone rejoins with the same email or not. In this case, I'll keep it off. Let's create the automation. Here we go. And now it's going to open up the waterfall automation builder. So in this case, I could designate. So when someone joins the list, it's going to wait two days. Now, this is how it's designated by default, but we can go ahead and select this and change the day, minutes, hours, weeks or month, depending on how you want to do this. For example, it's not going to send it out right away. It's going to wait two days. All right. And once that happens, it's going to send out an email. Now, in this case, I have the option to select the email or write the email right here and have it ready for this particular reason. Now, options that you have here, for example, I'll click on the plus button. I can add another delay. I can add another email and just trigger this. For example, I can send out a second email in a week or two months or three months, etc. by using delay. I also have the condition option. So if I select conditions, this is going to trigger the yes and no. So if something happens here, for example, if the tag is, I don't know, subscriber is tagged with a specific tag. In this case, I don't have one ready. And then I'm able to trigger this yes option. And again, go with the flow, send out a different email based on that. And if it's no, I can send out a different type of email or just stop it as it is. So that's the option that you have. And there's the other option is the action. So the action will, will do an action when this happens. So after two days, this email sent out and then an action is going to happen. I can update the custom field. Copy to list, move to list, remove from list, etc. all from here. I can even apply a tag after this. So I can apply a tag saying that I've emailed this person. So emailed, right? I could, that could be one tag and that's going to trigger it automatically and add that tag to that specific uh, list that was sent out for each single customer that just joins the list, right? So it's a really easy and practical way to create your automations with WeMail. So you can view the list available here in case you want to create a new list, import new subscribers to that specific list, etc. 
impressions, your forms, your imports, your teams, integration settings, and all that's going to be available, available there. Now, remember, there's a free version that you can definitely use right now without, without having to pay a single cent for up to 3,000 subscribers with limited features. But if you want the advanced features and have more limits, you can jump into these paid plans that are a single payment plan. That means that you pay once and use forever. And they have a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. And that's a wrap for this video.